actually the best way to get money is fishing. Small fishes give you like a dollar. Big fishes give you like four dollars and upwards, dude. It's amazing. It's amazing. Oh my goodness. Fishing. You have to be like level 14 or so to unlock the fishing rod though. But fishing makes you a lot of money. A lot of money. Hey guys, Demon here. I know my mic is bad, but don't worry about it too much. Um, today, I'm showing you how to get the best source of income in uh, Red Dead Online. First off, you're going to want to make sure that no one's around to see what you're about to do, because if they are, you will totally get the cops on you really fast and stuff like that. So just make sure no one's around to see, uh, like that guy, just take him down real quick so he runs away. Um, you can fight people without them actually like, uh, like getting a wanted level. So, uh, on Red Dead Redemption 2 online, as you can see, I'm online, I'm on, I'm with my online character. There's a place that is right here on the map that has a pig pen. And the best way to get money without doing missions and stuff is to hunt animals and get a three-star rating every time because... Some animals will give you like a dollar at the butcher, so there's hunt animals, go to the butcher and sell them. Some animals will give you like a dollar or more, so if you get a lot of animals, you'll be able to uh, sell them at the butcher right here. You'll be able to sell them here for like a dollar or more, sometimes even more. So the more you hunt, the better, uh, the more money you get. And remember, you have to try to make it three stars or more. Um, and this is just one of the easiest places to do it, right here, if I'm going to show you one more time. Right here, um, this is just one of the easiest places to do it. Because there's just a bunch of uh, pigs here. So you just take out your bow, you aim for their heads, and you hit them. They freak out a bit, but that's okay because you don't need them to, to for anything else but their skin and stuff. And as I said, sometimes you get up on this level, but that's okay. Because... It's all fine as long as you get what you're here for, which is their skin. And remember, if you die with their skin, the most likely thing that's going to happen to you is that uh, you're going to lose the, the animal pelts. So try not to die after you get their skin. As you can see, perfect, almost perfect three stars with the bow and arrow on the pigs. Uh, two stars, I guess, sadly. But someone did see me, and they're running off to tell somebody, like an asshole. But uh, before they get there, hopefully we can get all these pig skins. And let's see how much we can make off of these, even though they're only two stars. Would suck. But it's okay. Uh, for now. I should have killed that guy before he got away, goddammit. And there's also a goat there. Oh well, uh... We're only gonna get these two, I guess. Let's see if there's any more that are like three stars. If I kill any ones that had three stars to them. Let's just go see. Real quick. Oh boy. Let's see. You have three stars? No. You have three stars? Oh, you do. You have three stars. Okay, good. This one has three stars. So this one's a three star one. Let's see how much this will give us at the thing. Remember, you can do this with any animal, just as long as you try to get it with three stars. And there's a lot coming for it right now, so I'm going to get out of here before they kill me and I lose these pelts because pelts are losable on this game and in free mode. So as long as you're going to lose the pelts, you might as well not lose them. Let's go, buddy. Jump it. There's also a thing right there that I can kill right there, but I can't kill it. Oh, it's a donkey. I didn't even know there's donkeys in this area. Huh, donkeys. I found where donkeys are, guys. Uh, donkeys are in this general area as well. Uh, so let's go to where we're supposed to go. Uh, try to get away from the cops as quickly as we can without killing anybody so they don't, uh, you know, come back to haunt us. Although okay, you might have to kill this one cop because he is annoying as hell. Tell me after us like this, how rude of him. 
just just lose focus on us, okay? Just lose focus, and you'll live, and you'll go back to your family and be happy. But if you keep on chasing me, I'm gonna kill you. I gotta go show the folks how much these pelts are worth, buddy. So, uh, yeah, those are where you can get pigs and donkeys. I didn't even know, uh, where you can get donkeys there, but, uh, donkeys are there as well. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. But, let's see, we're almost away from these assholes. And as soon as we're away from these assholes, we can go and sell these pelts. And remember, this will work with any animal, as long as you can kill it and try to get a three-star rating. I know wolves will come at you straight forward, and you can actually hit them with the bow and arrow and actually kill them pretty easily. And you'll get a three-star pelt the majority of the time. Uh, deer and stuff, I suggest riding up to them on your horse, but try to kill them with one shot because you have to kill them with more than one shot. The pelt might not be three stars, so it's a little bit uh, lackluster, a little bit shitty there. But for the majority, it is three stars. So, just try to get three stars for all animals. Just try to hit them directly in the head or the neck or whatever kills them fastest with the bow or with whatever gun you have. Uh, like the varmint rifle, it works for smaller animals like beavers and stuff. And uh, I know you can get three star pelts off of those things. I don't know how much they're worth, but I know you can get three star pelts off of them. Uh -huh. Anyways, let's go over here. My horse is all out of stamina, which sucks, uh, but it's okay because it's probably one of the best horses in the game at the starting point at least. Uh, I don't have any money to buy another horse anyways. I have 400 bucks, I guess. That's something. Uh, let's head her. Oh, it's a farm. But anyways, uh, let's head her to the place that I have marked on the map. This is probably one of the most annoying things to do. Is to get it like from point A to point B. I'm gonna actually make a video on how to get to point A and to point B uh, the fastest in Red Dead Online. So just wait for that and uh, you'll be able to see it probably tomorrow. It probably comes out tomorrow. This one will be today and that one will be tomorrow. And uh, again, we are super duper slow. Uh, don't worry though, we'll see how much they're cost. If you want to see, just skip ahead, because it's going to be a little retreat there. Obviously, but we still have the pelt on the back. So if you want to see, just skip ahead a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to put up a time or anything, but you can skip ahead uh, to that point. We're just going to jump off and run. Make sure your horse stays in that circle, because if they leave that circle, like if you're running next to your horse, make sure they stay in that circle, because if they leave that circle, uh, they're probably not going to pop up anymore, which is shitty. Come on, stay with me. I need those pelts. Okay, so now we are here, and as long as my horse is next to me, I should be able to sell them. Alright, so, what the fuck happened to that guy's face, Jesus Christ. But anyway, so, let's sell, and we'll go to the horse, and we have one bad one, one two star, and it still gives us a dollar, that's pretty good, actually, and these two give us a dollar seventy-five. So, even if it's only two star, probably even one star, it's still going to be fairly good to sell, and uh, the pelts, this you can stack them up on your horse, and that's their really big pelts. And uh, they're fairly easy to sell, and they can actually make you a lot of money. So this is a one-star pelt uh, of something, uh, and it gives you 75 cents. So 75 cents, 75 cents, some hearts, uh, a raccoon. Oh, a raccoon gives you a dollar. I killed that with a barnet rifle, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, feathers, 45 cents each. That's pretty good. 45% each for his feathers. Uh, some teeth. Oh, $1.50 for these teeth. That's pretty good. Mud. A horn or something. That's pretty good. And meat. Chicken meat. Stuff like that. This stuff gives you pretty lackluster. But, uh, yeah, like, that's the best way to get money without actually, uh, 
Because then actually like doing missions and stuff, that's the best way to get money. And uh, it's a really cool way, and I just showed you where the farm is, but any animal you can hunt. And try to get three stars, but you can get like one to two, and it's probably still going to be good. One's probably going to be only a few like a few cents. Two may be like a dollar, depending on the animal. And uh, three is definitely going to be a dollar and higher for most animals. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video on how to get the fastest way amount of fastest amount of money in the fastest time and also um, <laughs> where you can find donkeys I guess uh, if you enjoyed this like comment subscribe and share and as always my friends stay sane peace is just telling you if you click one of these boxes you will either go to my most recent video or a video that YouTube thinks you will like and if you click on my face right here you will go subscribe to my channel. <laughs> I guess you won't go anywhere. You'll subscribe. Anyways, that's enough, guys. Peace.